Any day now, a judge is expected to hand down what could be one of the most consequential rulings in the Georgia election interference case against former President Donald Trump and his 18 co-defendants. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows is requesting that the state charges against him be moved to federal court. If that happens, it could upend District Attorney Fonnie Willis's sprawling racketeering case. Joining us now is criminal defense attorney and former federal uh, prosecutor in Georgia, Amy Lee Copeland. Uh, Amy, uh, great to see you. Thanks so much for doing this. Um, you know, Meadows took the stand uh, to argue his case on Monday. What were you thinking uh, when he did that? Um, because I think some people were surprised that he went went that extra step. Uh, was that how big of a gamble was that? Jim, I was one of the people who was really surprised that he took that big gamble. I've been reading his transcript. I've read it several times now. He holds together fine with the question of his attorneys. He comes off as you know, kind of charming and talks about the duties of the chief of staff. But when he gets to cross-examination at about page 100 of the transcript, things just don't go so well for him. Uh, he does say that we needed to coordinate our efforts to get state electors in an email with Jason Miller of the Trump campaign. Then when he's asked to explain that, he says, well, that's kind of the royal we. I'm used to giving credit to other people. But on redirect, when his attorneys are supposed to rehabilitate that testimony, Meadows said, I didn't want us to prevail and not have these people in place or Mr. Trump would yell at me. So he kind of takes it and puts a point on it that he's really acting for candidate Trump instead of President Trump and his testimony in that hearing. And because this was a, a pretrial hearing, uh, Meadows denied certain allegations without seeing uh, what evidence the prosecution has against him. Um, for example, he said that he never directed White House uh, aide John Mac Johnny McEntee to write a memo about a strategy to d disrupt and delay the January 6th congressional certification of the election. Uh, could that kind of testimony from Meadows backfire on him if all of a sudden Fonnie Willis comes oh. up with some evidence that he doesn't know about? Absolutely. And that's the problem about locking in the story so early. Uh, he hasn't seen the evidence yet. I think the DA is set to get it out by September the 15th. But now he has locked himself into the story. We did see that, again, with the coordination of our efforts uh, thing. He first denied that he had any part in coordinating those efforts. And then the DA introduces an email showing this exchange with Jason Miller of the Trump campaign. And uh, the judge told Meadows if he doesn't rule on uh, moving his case to federal court by Wednesday, he should be prepared uh, to be arraigned that day. Um, is that essentially saying that uh, you may not get what you want here and you may be stuck down in Fulton County? Um, what do you think? I think it may be, but I also think that Judge Jones has expressed a desire to let the state court proceedings move its part. Uh, Mr. Meadows tried to get him, get the judge to keep him from even getting booked in by the August 25th deadline. At the very least, Judge Jones is saying the state court proceeding proceeds in less than until I say otherwise. And do you think that Meadows stands a chance of succeeding here? I mean, we were talking to a, a different uh, legal expert in the previous hour, and he said it, that it's possible. Um, and uh, that if that sort of thing happens, it really could do a lot of damage to uh, the Fulton County District Attorney's case. I think that ultimately Meadows will not succeed. His attorneys did a very good job of saying how low the bar was for a case to be moved to federal court. But the DA's office said, you know, the real issue is what is the act here? What is the act that was either in or outside the scope of his office? It can't just be an overt act like Judge Jones has identified. There may be something that Meadows did that was actually in the scope of his office. What the DA has come back and said is it actually has to be a criminal act. It has to be a RICO act. And here he's acting outside the scope of what he did when he got involved in the election campaign largely because of the Hatch Act, which prohibits executive branch employees from working on campaigns and being involved in campaigns. All right, uh, Amy Lee Copeland, uh, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.